Hey guys, Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Welcome to my 38 week pregnancy update. So I'm still using the Pregnancy Plus app. It says the baby this week is approximately 7.25 pounds. I feel like my baby's like eight pounds right now, but again, that is just because I'm super uncomfortable. I also have a really short torso, so that could be part of it. But it says your baby weighs about seven pounds and is continuing to build up fat under the skin. The digestive system is now capable of digesting liquid foods and he is busy peeing at regular intervals. So that's kind of interesting, like he's kind of recycling the amniotic fluid in there. Your little one's skin is now pinkish red. Most of the body hair has now gone and any remaining amount will follow soon after birth. Your baby won't be rolling over as often. Instead, you may notice a persistent kick underneath one of your ribs on one side or the other, 100%, like this is my baby, 100%. So he doesn't really roll around a whole lot. I can feel his bum kind of shift from the very front of my belly over to the side a little bit, but he definitely kicks me really hard all the time on my right side. Although the type of movement will have changed, the frequency should not. You should continue to feel your baby as frequently as before. And if you notice any change in your baby's regular pattern of movement, you should report it to your midwife or your doctor or your antenatal ward. If your baby is a boy, his testes will have dropped into his scrotum. And if your baby is a girl, her labia will be prominent. Your due date is almost there. So that was the update for this week. Here is the picture for this week. Who's getting big. Okay. What cars do you have? I have the clean backer car. What else? I have the Lightning McQueen car. Lightning McQueen, yeah. What else? The police car. Oh, a police car. And? A flyer car. You are so cute. Bye, kids. <laughs> Bye, kids. He watches way too much YouTube. I don't really have any new symptoms. Um, my last few videos, I had a ton of energy, and now I'm back to being exhausted again. And I'm exhausted at the exact same time every day, which is weird. So at from 3 o'clock in the afternoon until about 6 o'clock, I am completely toast. And there is nothing that I can do to change that. There is no amount of coffee in the whole world that is going to bring me back from that. I'm just like a walking zombie, which is kind of hard because that's the time of day that my son really wants me to play with him. So I've been finding that a little bit hard. My heartburn is back. It's not too bad. Um, my number one symptom is just that I'm uncomfortable. Uh, the baby's very big and I have a short torso and I just feel like there's no room um, and I find it really, really uncomfortable to sleep. I had like a meltdown last night, but it was half like serious and half comical, but I've just had enough. Like I was so just wanting to be comfortable in bed and go to sleep and like my ankles were paining. I was having like almost like restless legs. My stomach was so uncomfortable. I had like gas pains. I had to pee every five minutes and I just got out of bed. I was like, Jeff, this is it. I'm done. Like, I can't handle this. He was like, what do you mean? I was like, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm just, I just got to get out of here. And he's like, well, what do you want to do? Like, is there anything you want me to do? And I was like, no, I just want to stand up and pace around the house and be angry. <laughs> And we were both kind of laughing, but I was kind of serious. Like, I was just like, this, like, sucks. One good symptom is that I feel like um, my last, like, three videos, I was, like, complaining and talking about how pale I was, and I just felt like I looked like crap, even though I felt really good. Well, this week, I feel like my skin and everything is really good, and my hair... I feel like my hair grew like two inches in a week. I mean, I know that's impossible, but my hair feels so thick and like, I mean, I have thick curly hair, but I didn't even style my hair today. I did nothing with it. And it is just very bouncy and I don't know, I'm very impressed with my hair. Um, I haven't made any changes and I feel like this whole pregnancy, my hair has been kind of limp. So um, yeah, so that's like a positive thing, I guess. Um, and I guess other symptoms would be just what I mentioned before, just that like my ankles and my legs are kind of painy at night um, and I am getting little bits of swelling in my feet, but nothing major. Okay, so let's talk about my doctor's appointment. So I just had a doctor's appointment. It was technically like my 38 week uh, checkup, 
Um, everything was totally normal. She took my blood pressure. It was perfect. She measured me. I'm measuring a little bit ahead. She thinks the baby is a little bit bigger than my first baby, but nothing crazy. Um, and she just asked me like how I was doing and talking about like how my due date is coming up really soon. And she said, you know, when you get close to your due date, if you're really uncomfortable, like I can do a membrane sweep, if that's something that you would like. And I just kind of like, I don't think, I don't think I want one. I didn't have one with Wilson. I just went into labor on my own. Um, so I don't know, but the closer that day gets, um, I may want one. I am starting to be like kind of anxious, like I want to meet the baby and stuff. So who knows? I mean, I'd rather not get induced and I'd rather not have to have a sweep and all that. But like I'm a total nut job when it comes to <laughs> some of this stuff. So if I get to like my 40 week appointment and she offers, I'll probably get her to do it. Even though I heard it's like extremely painful. Um, but I also heard that it does work a lot of the time. So I may do that. So that was my doctor's appointment. Um, the other kind of weird thing about my doctor's appointment is between my last two doctor's appointments, I didn't gain any weight. This time I gained six pounds in five days. Um, so I'm definitely, definitely putting on fluid. And this happened to me at the, the end of my pregnancy with my first pregnancy with Wilson. But I started putting fluid on for like weeks like 34, 35, 36, 37. Like the whole time I was just gradually putting fluid on. This time I'm like putting a ton of fluid on at once. Um, but my pressure is beautiful. So I'm not that worried about it. It could have also been something that I ate that made me retain water or something like that but like six pounds in five days to me is absolutely crazy and it means that I'm getting close to the 190 pound mark which again is kind of mind-blowing. I think it's bump time. Um, so if you like this video give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video, which may or may not have a baby in it. Bye.